How to troubleshoot the flow alarm of handheld laser welding chiller. When the chiller flow alarm goes off, adjust the machine to cell circulation mode and fill the water to the highest water level. Disconnect the external water pipe of the chiller. Short connect the inlet and outlet ports of the water circuits with pipes. If this flow alarm cancelled, the issue lies with the external water circuits. After the chiller is in self-circulation, check for any internal water leaks. Remove the water inlet pipe and observe water flow. If the water pump shakes abnormally, makes noise, or doesn't pump water, there's a pump malfunction. If the pump is unresponsive and unheated, you need to further check the pump power and controller output. Use a small cross screwdriver to remove the four screws on the top of the pump. Then use a multimeter to measure the voltage across the blown and blue wires of the pump. If there's 220 volt, the pump is faulty. Otherwise, it's a circuit or temperature controller fault. If the chiller's water flow is normal, inspect the flow switch or sensor. Use a small flathead screwdriver to extract the reed switch from the flow switch. Turn and reinsert it in the flow switch. If the alarm is gone, it indicates the reed switch is fault. Otherwise, continue troubleshooting. Press the two clasps behind the temp controller and remove the controller. If the pump lacks 220 volt input, measure voltage at terminals L and D04. If there's 220 volt, it's a circuit problem. Otherwise, it's a temperature controller fault. If turning the reed switch doesn't resolve the flow alarm, replug the flow plug. If the alarm disappears, it means the flow switch is loose. Proceed with further checks. Short circuit the two terminals of the flow switch. If the flow alarm cancelled, it indicates the flow switch is fault. Otherwise, it's a temperature controller fault. Follow me for more TRIU SNA chiller maintenance tips.